How you doing guys? Back out in the garage. Kinda. Taking a break. Uh, I put in enough hours this week that I could take a break on it. Um, did take a peek at this. Peeled my tape off. So, definitely sealed the uh, seam. <laughs> Whatever, without a doubt. So, it wasn't required up here. I just kept going like this with the brush. So I can get it in the slot and turn it around. It was just a little seam like right here. If you guys remember, there's like three layers of metal. So I didn't want to see this part of the car disintegrate like the other one did. It was getting the same pock marks. So next thing is holes. And then the back corner disappearing and ah. so ah, what are we gonna talk about? Pink color. <laughs> oh man, what an ongoing battle. Um, so, we have everything here to get this car ready to be painted. I have everything I need, minus the paint. So, um, I don't know. The, the paint color isn't up to me, it's not my car. Okay. Uh, the original way he wanted this car painted was red, white, and blue. Now, any AMC guys know that they started that in 69 with the super stock AMXs. And none of them were really the same. They were the same, but they weren't the same. Um, because as soon as the cars were bought, they were painted however they wanted anyway. Very few of them were left like that, and that's not the original paint either. The original one just had a thin stripe back here. So... Um, like I said, they were painted all different ways, but there was three specific colors that they used to do it. Okay, and then as time went on into the 70s, they carried, they, that's their corporate colors, they carried them on into their racing. Um, you could have ordered ja a 70 Javelin in red, white, and blue. Um, it came with the nose white. Okay, there weren't always uh, the nose blue. Nose wasn't, wasn't always red. But the uh, red and the blue were metallic colors. Totally different. Um, I got pictures here of Wally Booth racing red, white, and blue gremlin over there. Some pictures over here somewhere. Keep racing a hornet. Done different ways. This one, the hood's white. And it's just whatever. Um, so that's what Junior wanted. And I talked him out of it because it's a big job in such a little place and um, then he went right to orange okay now we're going we're going back months ago we went right to orange and that hit like a little sweet spot in me because orange is one of my favorite colors uh, orange gold and green actually uh, gold probably being on the top orange being second and green being next um, So I thought about it and I said to him, no, I said, let's stay away from the metallic. <laughs> That's what I said to him. And then he came back to me and he says that, why don't we just paint the car satin black? And my exact answer to him was, is, I said, if I paint this car satin black, it's going to look like an unfinished piece of shit. I says, uh, and those are my exact words. I said, my car can get away with it. It's an old 60s car. I said, something in the 70s is just going to look like a primer thing that eventually you're going to paint. People still ask me when I'm going to paint my car. They don't get that that's real paint. They think it's primer. Um, I thought about it. It is the quickest and easiest to do. And uh, I just didn't want to deal with it. And I said to him, now you're going to say, I'm on time uh, restraints here uh, this house is going up for sale so good bad or different that's what's happening not sure what the next location is going to bring in garage size you can have at least this size <laughs> but um so but i don't want to have this car in limbo sitting like this that'll be the end of it okay um i'm fortunate i'm in a very dry location here um, depending on where I move on Long Island is how 
how much moisture I'm going to be dealing with, and it could be salt air moisture, and that's the end of it. That's so I said to Junior, I said, why don't we paint it white? And I said, down the road, we'll mask it off, and we'll do the red and blue. And we picked out a white, a pretty bright white, you know, a crisp white, whiter than this. This is off white, and uh, which would be used for the red, white, and blue. I said, we'll do it that, and then uh, whatever. Then he came back to me with the orange again. So I said, listen, if you want to paint it orange, I'll paint it orange. I says, but I have to know because I have to paint the engine compartment. I says, if you're totally unsure, I said, we'll do it satin black. I don't want to do that. AMC is a body color. And I like when you see the inside of a Mopar and an AMC and it's body color. I like it. I like it. Um... As somebody called me once a purist, I guess. Um, I just like it. I, there's certain details about cars that you attract you to them, and that's one of them. So if I take that away, I'm losing my attraction to what I like. So he picked out an orange. I like it. Went and looked at it. It was a uh, Mopar Toxic Orange, which they used from 05 to 16. It was on the Challenges. I think it was on some of the trucks, some whatever. Has a decent amount of pearl in it, changes color. Okay, and it's a like a burnt orange. They have other color oranges. They have oranges like on that, like this. You know, orange orange. Um, and like that. The new orange switched to that. Which all the Mopar guys are saying is a mistake, but that doesn't matter to me. It has nothing to do with me. So I agreed on that. I looked at it, and I was like, wow, that's a pretty sick color. And, um, but the bottom line is, it's not my, okay, I don't know where I left off with the battery going dead, but I'll jump right to the colors. Um, I looked up the colors, and the white is just a special bright white. The blue is actually Mopar Corporate, or people nicknamed it Petty Blue, believe it or not. And the front is Ragoon, if I'm pronouncing it right, Ford Blue. And uh, those are the colors. So it's bright white, it's petty blue in the back, and Ford in the front, and Jim in the middle. So <laughs> it's got every everything but AMC on here. Um, the way I've broken the car up, there's a thousand different ways to break it up. You could have a <laughs> you could have a white stripe this big. You could do most of the car white, do the ass, however you want to do it. There is no right or wrong to this. It came in every different configuration because people did this after all when they're racing the cars they have them on angles I'm not doing any of the angles um, if this line would have carried a little different than just disappear here and leave me hanging I would have incorporated the top of the car from this line up and did it a different color and we would have did this totally different but I think no matter what I do back there I look like crap so this is what I came up with I originally wanted to drop it straight down here so that would get a part of the door a little part of the door and obviously the nose and the cowl then I was gonna go white and then pick a spot and go with the blue okay now they don't have to be and they will not be equal sections so it's not gonna be 50 inches 50 inches 50 inches it doesn't work that way it never worked that way when they did it this one's the closest one I've ever seen but it doesn't work that way um, they come everywhere from a thin white stripe to mostly white to whatever you want Junior does not want it to end there. That was his only stipulation He wants it to come up on the roof. So I say Go to this gutter curve with the red Go to this gutter curve and start the blue So from the set in any part of this gutter curve to the inner part of this gutter curve will be white so that means you'll get right where the roof indentations all end you'll have a stripe of red both of your pillars will be red obviously part of your window frame will be red your door will be red and part of the rock will be red and when you come back here it'll be the same thing with the blue the blue will continue straight down okay onto your window frame onto your door straight down and the whole ass will be blue 
that's the way I think it would be nice. Are well, the colors proportioned? No. No. You got uh, mostly red. Um, I measured it. Mostly red, then comes blue, and then comes white in the length differences. But the white stripe would be a decent width. Okay, and that'll also keep my B pillar white. Now you gotta understand when you do this, the engine compartment's white, the door jams are white, the backs of the doors are white, and supposedly back here would be white. Okay, so that'll be debatable. I'm, I think this could be blue for ease of painting. So even the part of the door that turns blue, that doesn't mean the back side or this will be blue. It was just a masked off and it was painted over the front. So that means when the doors get put back on, this will be all masked over because it will already be white if you guys can follow it. So, and that also allows me to break the car up into different paint sessions doing it that way. Um, is that what's going to happen? Maybe. <laughs> so, I, uh, I already placed, um, what you call it, an email to the person I deal with with the paint and we're going to see what happens. So, um, I will say one thing, white is cheap. <laughs> Let's find out about that red. So, <clears throat> and I don't want to vary too much because I want the impact of these colors because that, that red and uh, blue are pretty bright. Um, so, in case this thing didn't like stand out in the crowd when someone walked by, I think they'll notice it now. Um, what we'll do with the hood, I don't know, that's up to him. Like I said to him, I said it should be red and the scoop should be uh, red. No funky colors on the scoop, it'll just throw everything off. I said you could do the hood satin black if you want. I said we'll decide that as time goes on. Uh, we got a little bit. Um, I think once he has the color here, I'll really push myself hard to get this thing done. So, not that I didn't put a decent amount of hours into it this week. And I will be back out here tomorrow. I'm just taking a break from it today. So, um, I don't think there's much on the back of the car that has to be done. And like I said, I got to stock. I still got to go over and get rid of all his DA marks. The consensus with this is obviously these will be fully sanded. We're just putting like a button head stainless steel screw. They will be there. So you will know that the holes are there okay um for now and then we'll see what we do i'm not sitting there welding up the roof i weld up the roof forget it that uh, that'll not only do i have to gut the interior for when the sparks go in but it's probably distorted a little bit i would think to begin with from it being pulled up so no nah, not happening that's one thing we're going to live with um with that if he finds a suitable color and he wants to play around with the roof rack and strip it. If he can make it nice, if he can make it smooth, and I could do some kind of color that'll blend in and it's not gonna be black. Um, we could lay it up there and if it looks good, we could bolt it on. If not, we could just keep our eyes peeled for someone that's a little nicer. So, um, with that said, I think that's gonna be it, guys. And uh, hopefully we get moving on this thing. So I think we're past all the hidden surprises, I would think. Um, like I said, to me the next phase, one of the next phases is putting a little primer on the bottom and getting that shits on so I can let it dry. Um, I'd be done with it. Can't come up, you can't come up here. This is where the door seal rides. So you gotta stay back, probably to right where you see that sand line. You can see all the ripples in it. And some of the seam seal that ran down that I sanded off. Probably right to that line is probably where we'll, we'll tuck in and go. Uh, the rock is on an angle down, so the seal should miss it totally. Um, so I don't want to drag the seal on it constantly and destroy it. And uh, I was just looking over. It's got to get, oh, here it is, the bottom edge of this. So. Uh, I think that's going to be it, guys. Today's not such a nice day outside. It's a little rainy, so. Okay, I think I've gabbed long enough, and uh, that's it, guys.